artist Shirley Woodson. She spent a lifetime lifting others up while breaking barriers down. Rita Braver shows us what that balance looks like in real life. I listen to blues, I listen to jazz. Does what you're listening to influence oh, what you're definitely, painting? Definitely. A deeper color, a more brilliant color, that translation, that interpretation is part of what goes on. There's a lot going on in Shirley Woodson's paintings. Bold strokes and vivid colors are hallmarks of her style. When I saw your work, I thought, this is done by some wild woman. <laughs> she must be just out there. And then I meet this lovely school teacher. <laughs> What's going on? Well, um, I multitask. <laughs> and now this 85-year-old multitasker's work is being celebrated in her first one-woman show at her hometown museum, the Detroit Institute of Arts. So it must be exciting to walk in and see your work in this museum. Oh, it's incredible. The exhibit, composed of paintings that Woodson made over three decades, is called Shield of the Nile Reflections, which she says highlights the river's importance to civilization. I wanted to place these figures in an environment of healing, of restoration, of pleasure, all of the things that water represents. The paintings display some of Woodson's recurring themes, water, fish, shells, horses, and human beings, sometimes painted without facial features. I put the viewer to work to keep them imagining, just to say, well, why didn't she put a face in there? September Waves includes a small self-portrait of Woodson alongside her late husband, Edsel Reed, an art collector and curator. The two met after he saw one of her works. So did he want to meet you? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And uh, he bought a painting. The way of a woman's heart, right? <laughs> Absolutely, this woman's heart. <laughs> the couple had two sons. Woodson, who studied art at Wayne State University and the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, spent 26 years teaching art to both high school and college students. Your work was selling. Your work was being acquired by some museums. Why did you keep teaching while you were still seriously painting? Teaching and working as an artist for me was like twofold. One kind of fed into the other. I just enjoyed seeing people grow. And I was learning through the process as well. And I painted at night. I painted almost in every room of the house. <laughs> in fact, she says her paintings try to replicate the way we all juggle many things in our minds. You're thinking about what happened this morning. You're thinking about, you've got to pick the kids up, or you remember this. So all these things are going on. Compositionally, they keep the motion going. Woodson has won numerous local and national awards, yet she believes that recognition has come slowly to her as well as to other women artists of color. Do you think it's been discrimination in a way? Oh, of course. On the one hand, it's so great that you have a solo exhibition at what is maybe the most prestigious art gallery in Detroit. On the other hand, what took them so long? Well, you're not the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's about survival. It's about keeping those goals that you have in play and uh, proceeding, moving forward. 